Hi guys, so today I have some beautiful dice to share with you. Um, these are uh, part of a new collection called uh, by Becca Feekin with Spellbinders called Stained Glass Bouquet Collection. And these items were sent free of charge by Spellbinders and um, of course all opinions are my own. Any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So these items actually launched um, in March. And I have a couple new April releases that I want to show you, but today we're going to work with these guys. Um, actually, I think today in this video I'm going to work with this one. We'll make a square card with this beautiful um, stained glass look. And I can show you this one is Tulip Trio, and this one's Deco Bloom. As you can see, Deco Bloom is more of a 5x7. Um, just gorgeous with the roses. And you can mix and match these pieces. Like if you wanted to not cut this center piece, you could bring like the little roses in here and do whatever you like. Um, it's a really, really gorgeous collection. Um, and this is just a, a couple of the um, dies from it and so you can see this, this is pretty much what we're going to try to do today just so I can show you the paper piecing it looks like they have um, some dimensional adhesive under this piece so I'll show you how we can get that dimension with the paper piecing um, in there and I'm debating whether I'm going to use ink or watercolors because I think more of us have inks and <laughs> we're more familiar with them so maybe I'll do the inks um, but something like that and then this one here Again, it has that beautiful frame, and then you can do whatever you like with the little um, roses there. So pretty. Um, I do want to show you a couple other um, new releases that I have here, and I will work with uh, very soon, but I know they are on the site already, so if you want to check those out. Um, we have Cute Boots and Windy Sky, and these are from the Card Maker Stamp Collection. And look at how sweet. I mean, pairing these up together I think would be amazing. Look at this. Because to me, you know, it looks like windy maybe. It looks like water maybe. You have your little whale here. Um, so again, cute boots. And these are photopolymer stamps. We have Windy Sky, nice background um, stamp. And I can measure that for you real quick. It looks like it's A2 size. Yeah, it's a little bit under 4 inches by 5 inches. Um, so good for an A2. And then I've been showing you guys these guys. We'll work with these very soon here. This is, um, let me see if I can put this on something. The uh, Delightful Darli Darlings by um, Spellbinders there, of course. And um, as you can see, they're just super, super cute. Um, this one happens to be Del uh, Darling Hugs. And then we have Darling Bouquet. And they have two other sets, I think Darling Celebration and one of the one, they also sell it in a set of all four all together. So if you want to check those out, super cute. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is grab some paper to get started. Um, and I'll be right back. So to get started, I'm just looking at this, just to have some inspiration here. And I think, you know, there you have, she has like a blue background, the purple and yellow and pink flowers. Um, you know, with the little green uh, stems and things. Do whatever you like. So what I did is just, I just got cut water reactive inks. And for the blue, I'm going to use a larger piece of paper. This is kind of like a heavy weight kind of mixed media paper. Um, and what I'm going to do on these is just put some color down. So let me find my... And then when we cut this out, we'll paper piece this back in. But this is just something we're going to start with. So I'm just going to get some blue. And add it in, you know, about as big as the die would be. That center piece. I think that's pretty good. So just like for a modeled look. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other colors that I need. I grab smaller pieces of paper because I know um, what I do to cut these pieces. Um, basically we need a few of this guy and I'm assuming it's exactly the same. So we can either paper piece right back into this or use this guy to help us out. So that's a choice we can make. Um, what I'm gonna do is see if these are exactly the same. Because that is very cool. I, this, I feel like these are a different thing on their own. It's a little bit bigger. Okay, so yeah, this is just more of an accent piece if you wanted to, like, let's say you didn't use this centerpiece, or let's say you did use that, but you still want to add some extra ones out here. These are a little bit different design. So either way, I'm going to place my piece of paper just behind each little area, and that's how I plan to do it. But if you wanted to, knowing that, you know, maybe I want this one yellow and this one pink and this one purple. Okay, when I turn it over and cut, it's going to be like this. So I would make like a purple area, a yellow area, a pink area. Cut them all at once. Um, which maybe what I'll do, just for efficiency. See what I'm saying? We can just lay it down like that. 
And now I need, let's say purple. <clears throat> so I'm gonna dip it through my purple color. Maybe add it here. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's gonna be pretty much where I cut that at. And then, yeah, that'll be easy. Uh, let's say this guy's gonna be yellow. Oh, let me go yellow. The yellow is very bright. <laughs> and you don't have to worry if the color just kind of models off because um, whenever it cuts out, it's just gonna look really lovely. It's gonna have a variation of color. It'll be really nice. And then the pink, which I grabbed fuchsia, which is a little bright for this, but that's okay. Maybe I'll dab some off somewhere, make it a little bit light, lighter. And I wanna put the fuchsia like in this area. So if I cut these out, I have all my colors there pretty well. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the green on this one. I think I'll do the green separately on its own. Um, just because I don't wanna end up putting it somewhere where it's not. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, Let me think how I want to use this. I will be right back. Let me put some of these things away. I'll be right back. So to get the card base going so that we can start paper piecing, I'm not going to cut this until I'm ready for it because I don't want to lose any of my pieces, of course. So I'm just putting that to the side. Um, you know, I measured this outer die and it cuts about four and a quarter inch square. So I cut a card base at um, four and three quarters by nine and a half. So when I scored it at four and three quarters, it would make a four and three quarter inch square card base. And I was just look, kind of looking at the example they have here and it just looks very lovely. This might seem like overkill on layers because they're gonna be white layers, but I don't know if you can see there's a little white layer there and it just makes the card look more finished, just that much prettier. So I, I just cut a piece of white cardstock at four and a half inches square. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. And then behind our gold frame, I'm still gonna have another piece of white cardstock, but we're gonna help uh, have that help us pop up that center that um, topper that we create. So it just looks lovely. It's just another little piece that just makes your card look more elegant, I think. So even though you don't see it, but that texture is there and it just looks really nice. So I'm gonna put this to the side for now too. So I'm gonna take my die and you can layer this up all kinds of ways. Um, you know, again, you have your examples here, of course, examples online, do whatever you like. Of course, you can come up with your own uh, combinations. Um, it looks like they use that center circle and popped it up and then they popped up even these pieces here. So however you like to do it. So what I'm gonna take is this outer frame. From this outer frame, I'm gonna cut another white piece that's gonna be like the backing piece for the gold frame that we're gonna do. So I'll just cut out this guy. And then on this gold paper, this is that beautiful double-sided gold mirror from Spellbinders there. Oop. Be careful with that. I'm gonna take that guy and this guy, and I'm gonna leave the center. If you wanna use that center die, I'll show you what I mean. If you wanna use the center die, you can leave it in here and it'll cut out that middle circle for you. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll, I'll still, well, I'm gonna leave it just cause I feel like I want to leave it. But what I'm trying to show you is, we're gonna do this, of course, cause you want that inlay on that frame. But if you also wanna leave the center circle to get cut out, this whole middle piece, you can then use it for something else. You can die cut other pretty things um, in there. Um, it'll just remove it for you. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it. But I know we like to save, especially this gold paper and uh, use it all up. So you could always remove that piece cause it's gonna be covered up anyway. Um, all right, so I'm gonna tape this down. I'm gonna cut this down cause I don't need this piece of paper to be this big. <laughs> But of course, whenever you have a couple of dies, you always really want to tape them so they don't move as they're going through your die cutting machine. You don't want any the dies to shift and go under each other because that would not be good. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down. I'll run this through also and I'll be right back. I'll show you how delicate and awesome that is. Oh my goodness. So when you go to remove this, just uh, be careful with it. Like I said, this piece is going to be covered up and those pieces fall away anyway. All these little pieces are falling away. But let me try to get just the frame. Where's my ejector button? And with that, I'm gonna poke it very carefully. Oh, 
look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at how thin these lines are and just beautiful. So, okay, I'll be right back. I'm doing things step by step because, you know, I'm making a tutorial, but if you were just at home and you're working on this, what I would do is definitely just, you know, cut everything at once. Cause like, I'm gonna need this gold frame. Look at that, with that white paper we just cut out. And then we also need this circle in just white. Well, at least the way I'm doing it in just white or whatever color you would like. And then we need it layered up together like this with the gold frame also to match up with this. So I have my paper here again, just whatever scraps that were left from when I cut my card base and things. I'll cut that guy. And then on that gorgeous gold paper, I'll cut these two again, taped down very well. And I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, just gorgeous. So as I was looking at this, I kind of changed my mind as far as what I'm gonna do. Well, I didn't change my mind, but let's say this was your card and you're gonna pop this up from the center. You know, we're gonna glue that down, pop it up. That looks gorgeous just by itself. Um, you can color this in with markers on your own, like, you know, in the background, however you wanna do it. Watercolors, um, all that pretty stuff. What I'm still gonna do is take my blue and maybe that's what we'll do. We'll build it up with the blue first. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through. But what I changed my mind on is I am gonna use this pretty lady right here. And we're just gonna pop it on top. So it's gonna look more actually like what they have here going. Instead of just using the ones that are down here and uh, then I have to trim away kind of the excess to make it pop up. You see what I'm saying? I'm just gonna use this pretty one. And we'll get to that in just a second. But either way, doing what I had showed you guys, if you still wanted to do that, you could just cut it out, right? Use your die to cut that out and use those little pieces and paper piece them in. And it would be flat, right? With the exact paper pieced, uh, pieces there. So this is fine. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna use those individual pieces, the individual um, uh, tulips, okay? So let me clean up a little bit. I am going to go ahead and run this one through just so that we have our blue background pieces because those are gonna be in the background and I'll be right back. Okay, so before moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere our pieces. So this guy, I'm gonna glue down to this background. It's super delicate. I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of my hand better. This feels so pretty. <laughs> it just feels so nice in your hand. Try to be very careful. Um, I get questions a lot about how do you clean up the glue, like the excess glue that gets on the top. So when you're using something glossy, shiny, shimmery like this paper. You can wait for it to dry and just bring in a little paper towel and just, if it's a little bit humid, um, you can just wipe it away. The glue will wipe away. It depends on the glue, I suppose, also. Um, most of the time I just try to be careful. And even right now, if it's a little bit wet, you kind of rub, 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 it'll just go away. But, I mean, that's just how I do it. Sometimes you might want to wait till you're done, just so you don't get a lot of, like, glue on your fingers and you stick the glue to your paper, especially white paper, right? But it's whatever you like to do. And that's how I do it. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. I'm gonna glue him onto his backing. And I'm gonna keep it flat, but if you wanted to, I suppose you could pop this up. There's plenty of room, but see how this whole gold piece, I just kept it because I'm gonna pop this up and I think it looks nice kind of being able to see it down there. But if you cut out that gold center, it's not the biggest deal. You know, you still have a little gold rim there. It's gonna cut out here. So however you like to do it. So I'm just going to glue that down and probably just use these edges. I don't think anybody's going to come through and pick at your card and try to get these other pieces. But if you are afraid, you can also put glue there, you know, on some of these. I'm just trying to focus on those little corners there. And put this down. It is a square, so it should be the same all around. Okay. And I'll be back once this is set up. Okay. So if you want to pay a piece into this too, you could definitely do that, cut out some other colors. So basically this is what we have right now. And this is gonna be popped up. And look, just that little texture, that little background, just makes it look so much more elegant. And again, if you want to be done here, you know, that looks really pretty. Pop it up, have a sentiment, however it is. I'm gonna work on this piece right now. So normally what I recommend is when you cut things and you need certain pieces, I try to keep it where it is, right? And let's not move it too much. I know people have other tricks. I just keep it simple. And this is the kind of thing I do. So like I can tell like this blue piece that wants to come out already. I'm just gonna put some glue down and get that blue piece. Oh, let me, I like using like a sticky tool like this one, but um, 
you like tweezers, whatever it is that you like. I'm gonna go around and paper piece all of these little blue pieces. And it just starts looking so pretty. I know it takes time and some, you know, sometimes some projects are worth taking the time. Like this is really, really pretty already just with <laughs> popping that in. Like I said, you just make like a little mottled mess and it's just gonna look nice because just like with stained glass, you know, your pieces, they're all gonna be different and um, still coordinate, but just have different tones and values in there and the way it swishes or not, however. So I'm just gonna go through and pop in all my blue pieces. And at the same time, I'm going to, just like I did everything else, oop, <laughs> try and put that one in in the opposite fashion. Uh, I'm gonna take some green ink and plop it down on like this piece of paper here, just like I did before, just some mottled green ink. And I'm gonna run the dye through again when I'm done to get the green stems, okay? So I'll just do some green, I'll run it through, and I'll pop in the stems and the leaves. <laughs> check in with you guys. Um, coming together really quickly because these pieces are not super small. <laughs> so it just kind of chunks in there real easily. I think the smallest piece is this little guy right here. And again, I just kept it all together. I didn't pop anything out until I need it. So it's this last little piece right there. Okay, so like I said, I'll do the same thing with the green. So when I come back, this green leaves and these stems will have the green popped in there and I'll be right back. Like when I go to remove this, look at this. If you just want to put that like in a card, so pretty. So anyhow, okay. So again, if um if I had wanted to paper piece these in, I would just run that same die over that little area that we made earlier, and then you would have your little pieces, and you would just piece them in with your pretty flowers. But since I am going to use this other one separately, um, what I'm going to do is run this through three times, okay with the gold, just like this, because I want the little outline. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through some gold paper, and if I have any areas where I can kind of reuse, like in here, I can squeeze one in, I'll do that, because like I said, we like to conserve our little gold paper. So when I come back, I'll have three of those frames, and then I'm also gonna run this through in these areas, and I'll do them one at a time just so that we have our little pieces and it doesn't get confusing, but I'll be right back. Okay. This is just coming together so pretty. So we don't need this piece again. So what I did is I also ran just the outline through three white pieces. If you want to keep these little pieces, each tulip is only three pieces, plus that little bottom piece. You can definitely paper piece these into something else later, which would be gorgeous if you do like a white outline with the gold piecing. So I am going to keep these little pieces uh, from the tulips that I cut. I think that'll be really nice. Just pop them in a baggie. Maybe I'll do it later, just have it done already. Basically do like a white outline or a black outline and then pop the gold, oh, lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. So right now this is what we have. Again, these are different iterations, you know, depending on what you wanna do. And let's say you had your little colors in here and that card is gorgeous and done, you know? But I'm gonna do a little bit differently, a little more of what's on the inspiration sheet there. So I did cut out the three white bases, just like we've been doing. So what we're gonna do is just glue these guys on. So again, Easiest way for these little thin guys is to put the glue on the back of my hand. Dab, dab, dab. And get those guys on there. So I'll do that, oopsie, for these three. And I'll be right back. Okay, so easy. So what I'm gonna do is, for each one of these areas, like I said, I made it so that we can do it for the whole thing, just that one shot, but I'm using this piece. So I'm, I'm gonna pick some of the area that has some white to it. So I'm kind of moving it around so I can get a little bit of difference there. I'm just gonna hold it because I'm using um, the marquee, but if you wanted to tape it down, then run it through your die cutting machine. But when you have a folder system, you can just kind of hold on to it. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing we did with everything else. They stayed in there really nicely. And I'm gonna use these little guys. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna run them through also some green. I just noticed we need that little green bottom. And actually I still have some green modeling on this other paper. So I'll probably do is just pick out a little section, a little piece that I can just um, run this through. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's pop these guys out. And I usually pump out one at a time, but once I start getting into the groove, I can pop out a few, especially these because they're larger pieces. But if they're small pieces, it's best to like pop out one piece at a time so you don't get confused. Look at that. I'll tell you guys, it just looks so lovely because that little gold in between with the color, like it just looks so pretty. So what I'm going to do is take this same dye and do the yellow and do the pink exactly the same way, pop them in there. And you know, I mean, you could just use the white center, but I, and I could just take some green ink and just dab on there like the green that I was using. Where is it? Just dab, 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 and the ink will get on there and I can use the same one. So however you like, do it. See, now it's green. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's quite quicker. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to paper piece all these okay, in. Okay, guys, so we have all our pieces. Look how pretty these are. So I'm not going to put these on quite yet. Um, what I'm going to do is pop this with some adhesive, some foam adhesive. So I'm just going to line this out. Kind of, not really, just a few strips. And I'll take the back off that and then just pop it down. And I'll also put some foam adhesive on the back of this little circle just so that that also is going to be popped up. And I suppose if you don't want that much dimension, because we're going to have that one, and then we're going to have this popped up, and then we're going to have these guys popped up from the pop-up. So however you like. If you want to keep this flat, you can just um, glue it down. Whatever you like. But when I come back, I'll have the carriers removed from this and stuck down. And same thing for this. I'll take it off and stick it down. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, can you imagine with these colors in there and just, you know, have that couple layers? Um, what I had mentioned earlier is um, a trick, I guess, that Spellbinders I have learned from them. Whenever you have a die that has a um, piece that you cut in. So luckily, of course, this is, you know, it has its uh, background layer and the shadow, you know, the circle that you would make your frame with. A lot of times the die might just have the one piece, right? So you run it through and let's say it's just this, but it already has the circle attached to it, the outer die. So it's just the one piece. You don't have a backing piece, a backing die. Does that make sense? Like with little flowers, we have the die that we cut out in white, also cut out the frame with it. But sometimes you just have the one die. So what you can do in those situations and you want a paper piece back in, because it has like paper piecing ability, is you can put down some foam adhesive. And that's kind of what I learned from Spellbinders. You put down some little pieces, you put your little, you know, your die that, is already cut out with the frame and everything because that's how it was. And then you can take your little pieces and pop them on and the foam adhesive will keep them up. You know what I'm saying? Because um, if you want dimension. Of course, if you're just going to keep it flat, it doesn't matter. You put it on your paper and just paper piece in. But if you want some dimension, but you only have a die that already just cuts everything at once and you don't have the backing die to go with it, um, you put your foam adhesive and it just holds everything in place for you. You know, it's really nice. Um, you can also do it with double-sided tape. Um, but that doesn't give you the, the dimension, right? The purpose of that. So, okay. Um, so we're just going to pop these on here. You know, like I said, they're not exactly the same shape, but just about, um, well, in my opinion, they're not, but you know what it is just because it's a full flower. Like this one cuts off right there, but it's about the same size. I don't know. I guess I could experiment and see if those pieces exactly, actually, let's see right now. So this came from here. And this was cut from the individual die, if you recall. Yeah, see, it's a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see the individual die is just a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to put adhesive on the back of these guys, too. And take the carriers off, and I'll come back and we'll pop them on. Okay, I have my little flowers here, and I'll just follow the kind of the color scheme she has on here. She has the pink one down here. Again, I just put foam adhesive on the back of that. Gorgeous. So pretty. And I haven't even had my coffee yet, you guys, so that should <laughs> encourage you. It's very easy, um, just takes a little time, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And just how elegant it is with that little extra white in the back. I'm telling you, I don't think of things like this a lot of times, but I love that. And then you have this, beautiful. You want to paper piece some color in here? Go ahead. I mean, 
you can still do more because it's there. I mean, it's there ready for you to uh, piece more in if you decide to do that. Or just leave the color right there in the center, which I think is very lovely. Um, really, really pretty. So thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for my review. And guys, keep an eye out. I'll work on the 5x7, the larger guy, and um, with the roses. And keep an eye out for the new uh, release videos I'll be doing for the other stamp sets that I showed you. Really, really sweet stamp sets. Really great to work with. Um, they did have a super cute birdhouse set that they came out with this month. Um, I think the main set sold out, but keep an eye out on that one. It's adorable. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, I just noticed I put that, left that one in there. Let me pop that little piece out. But um, there it goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, you can just pop a sentiment out here. You can just be beautiful like this. I would put it maybe here. I think in the image here, they show it with a little um, hello friend there that has been um, foiled. Really, really pretty. However you like. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to do this too. I like that little gold accent. So maybe I'll pop something in there just in these corners. I'll do that. All right. I have some pictures for you guys. And thanks for watching. The links will be in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.